Yo, what up, what up, it's the kid CJ City. You already know what it is, CJ City TV. So we back with another sneaker review. Today, we are going to be taking a look at these court purple Jordan ones right here. I'm gonna be breaking it down. I'm gonna give you guys a full review, but I'm also gonna give you a complete honest truth about these sneakers, man, because I feel like there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot of things to point out when it comes to these court purple Jordan ones. Now, first and foremost, let me go ahead and just get this out the way. These sneakers are 100% real. They are authentic, man. I've been getting some comments lately like, yo, uh, are your shoes real? You know, uh, how you getting your shoes so early? I kind of forget that I actually have a lot of new people who watch my channel. You know, I'm just so used to all my loyal fans and stuff like that. I, I tend to forget that there are new people who watch my uh, videos every single day and they don't know if these sneakers are real or not. So if you guys don't know about me, CJ City, I do get early sneakers but they come directly from Chic, all right guys? I am a brand ambassador for Chic. They give me shoes to review. You know, I help them out on the social media aspect and all that stuff. And, and in return for helping them, I get, you know, basically some, some sneakers and I get the, you know, the first pick or whatever the case is, man. I get some sneakers. I don't wanna really talk about my deal, but I get sneakers, all right guys? These come directly from Chic, if you notice. I do not have sneakers two, three, four months early. I typically get my sneakers about, uh, I would say a week or two early. You know, uh, Chic, they actually get their shoes probably like a month early, but you know, their contract with Nike and Jordan, they can't really do photo shoots. They can't start promoing the sneakers until about 14 days before the release date, sometimes seven days. It just depends on the sneaker. That's why I'm not allowed to like review sneakers two, three months early or anything like that. So go back check the channel you'll notice i only get sneakers about a week early maybe two three if i'm lucky something like that but anyways that's just for the new people these sneakers are 100 percent real this is an early look so let's just talk about it we got the court purple right a lot of people are hyped up about this sneaker i've been seeing some people talk about this is the best sneaker release this year all right i have to be honest here guys the sneaker is dope don't get me wrong, but I feel like the sneaker is really overrated, all right? You know, I'm not talking about the quality, I'm just talking about overall. Later on, we will be taking a look at the resale prices of these sneakers, and I just feel like they're just way too high, man. You know, I feel like this sneaker is just hyped up. I'm about to show you something you guys are about to laugh at, all right? But I'm just a true sneakerhead, I'm a sneaker fan. Look at these sneakers right here, right? These sneakers, nothing, all right? About $40 maybe on the market, 60 bucks. But the color is fire to me. I love purple. I love, you know, the little turquoise on here. I love the black. A lot of people are talking about, you know, oh, I can't wait to get my hands on the core purple because I love purple. What about these? You guys don't care nothing about these, right? I feel like Jordan Brand has suckered you guys into this and they're just basically piggybacking off of the shattered backboard colorway. So they're keeping this sale right here. They're, they're just swapping out the orange for different colors. They're giving you some decent quality and they're just piggybacking off of shattered backboards and everybody's loving it, man. If this sneaker would've just came out just on like two, two, three years ago, just a regular release or something like that, I don't think it would be as hyped up as it is today. And I honestly don't think that it would resell for as much as it does today. So that's one thing that I just wanted to point out. As far as the sneakers go, I, lo I love these sneakers, man. I, I, I think the colorway is dope. The only gripe I have about it is going to be, like I said, the shattered backboard, you know, that side panel right there. I don't want that cream there. I would love if this was just blacked out. This just looked like a Sacramento Kings joint right here or something. I'm not really the biggest fan of that cell colorway right there on the side panel. I wish they would have blacked that thing out, but that's really the only gripe I have about this sneaker. The shoe is fire, but the fact that they're going for so much money is the reason why I'm not gonna be able to keep these shoes, dog. Like, I basically can sell these sneakers right now for about 380, 385, I don't know, profit about 260 or something like that. I could take that money, buy another pair, and then keep some money. And then even maybe I might even flip that and get some money and just keep all the money and not even keep these shoes, dog. Like, I'm not a reseller, but it's just, why would I wanna keep these shoes when I know I could get like, you know, probably like 280, 260 or something like that. They're not that dope. You know, these sneakers right here, they're not that dope. They're dope, 
But if somebody told me they was gonna give me 300 for these, 260, I'm selling these in a heartbeat. It's just these sneakers ain't worth nothing. So if these sneakers were not worth anything on the market, I would just keep them. But you know, other than that, let's just dive right into the details of these sneakers because I know that's what you guys came for. Let me tie these things up so I, you guys could get a better review, but I'm gonna give you some close-ups coming up right now. All right, bam, you guys can see right here, this is basically your high top Jordan 1. I think that's another reason people just love these things because they're high top instead of mid. But basically they're playing off of the shattered backboard. So you do have your sail color right there on the side panel. And then you have your black Nike swoosh. They just swapped out the oranges for this purple right here. It is a decent uh, purple. I like the purple right there. But let's just talk about the quality. Let's talk about the leather right here on the back. You guys can see it's all right. It's not like super plush or anything like that. You know, I feel like the side panel leather right there, it's decent. All right, guys, you know, it's nothing too special. We do have our uh, Jordan wing logo that comes in your black right there as well. Now, when it comes to these Jordan ones, the main thing when people talk about quality is really just the toe cap. All right. Or not the toe cap, the toe box. That's the only thing that they really care about. You know, the side panel right here, it is kind of, um, you know, a tumble, but sometimes they can just fool you. Sometimes it looks tumble, but when you actually feel it, it's kind of stiff. This right here, I feel like it is a little stiff on the side panel right there as well. But one thing about Jordan 1s is they kind of vary pair to pair. It's just kind of weird. Like I have my pair on uh, the bread toes and the quality wasn't really that great. You know, my friend got the same bread toes. I think he got them from like foot, foot action or something like that. And his quality was fire, man. Same thing happened you know, reverse with the Royal ones. I got my Royal ones from Chic, of course. Quality is plush, man. And then another homie had got his from Champs and it was just kind of stiff as a box. It's like a cardboard box. So, you know, some of these kind of vary. It just depends. So I'm not gonna tell you that this is the quality you're going to get, but this is most likely the quality you can look forward to, all right? The tumble leather right here, it doesn't, it's not too tumbled on the side, but it's not too soft when you press down on it either, all right? The, the, the tumble leather on the back right here, it doesn't look too tumbled, but when you actually feel that, that is soft, that is good. Now, let's take a look at the toe box right here, guys. Bam, all right. You guys can see we do have that tumble um, leather effect to the toe box right there, but the key is the texture, all right, guys? So when you actually feel the toe box, this thing is plus. I like it. It, it, it. I'm not complaining about that at all. It is really soft, guys. So when you touch that, you 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 you, you could tell that it's soft. You could get the tumble leather effect as well, but it's gonna crease anyway. All right. So make sure you guys get something to stuff these sneakers. I'm actually going to do another video on how you guys can stuff your sneakers, how you can keep these things from uh, not creasing, all right? But anyway, other than that, let's go ahead and take a look at the flip side here, guys. Bam, you can see, same thing as the other side. We have our shattered backboard basically, you know, in the middle. The good thing about this though, it's not too creamy. You know, it, it is a little off-white, but it still kind of looks white. It's not as creamy as the shattered backboards. And then of course we have our cork purple on the back panel and then up here on the top we do have you know our black leather that kind of just wraps around that so nothing too different about these jordan ones you guys have all seen it the whole story about jordan ones is really the quality of the sneaker all right guys so let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom of the sneaker so you guys can see bam they just made that all purple right there as well we do have our nike branding right there on the bottom and then we also have it on the tongue so it does match right there but you guys can see you know like i said these jordan ones it's nothing different the story is all about you know the quality so like i said it varies quality you know uh varies on each sneaker so when you guys get these let me know how your quality is but it's a decent uh decent sneaker overall colors dope decent uh quality on the sneaker and all that good stuff but just the fact that it's worth so much money it's going to be very hard for me to keep these now speaking of worth the money let's go ahead and head over to StockX so we can see the resale on this sneaker right here guys all right bam so quickly we are here on StockX as you guys can see and let's just quickly break down the resale market right now if you have the size 7 you could get 366 dollars 
Same thing goes for a size seven and a half. You can see a size eight through nine. You could get a little bit more, 390 to 375. Nine and a half, you'll get about 365. 311 for a size 10. 10 and a half, you'll get 288. Size 11, which is my size, you'll get a size, uh, you'll get $285. You know, a uh, size 11 and a half, you could get 275. 268 for a size 12, 12 and a half, you'll get about 242 or whatever, all right? You know, we got these big old sizes, but nobody really cares about that. Please keep in mind that you will get fees. I am logged into my account, so they will show me the fees. Hopefully they don't show like my card number or anything like that, but let's just go ahead and click on, you know, a size uh, 11. If I wanna sell right now, I can sell this thing for $285, but I will get a transaction fee for $27. You know, I get a payment proc for $8 and I'll basically total $250. So keep in mind, there is a 9.5% of uh, tax and then there's also another 3%. So basically you can look forward to a 12.5% uh, you know, tax rate when you guys sell these sneakers. But that's basically what we're getting right now. All right, guys, the, today is a uh, Saturday. You know, this is about a week early. So I know a lot of people are more willing to kind of pay uh, extra. Like you guys can see the highest one that's right now is this size nine. So, you oh no, actually the highest is a size eight and eight and a half. People are willing to pay $390 for this, but this is in order to get your sneaker early. I'm curious to know how much these sneakers are gonna go for when the sneaker actually releases. So drop those comments down below and let me know, will, this, will the, uh, the resale price stay the same or you know will it actually go up or will it just drop down you know that i'm hearing these are supposed to be even more limited than the pine green ones but it's kind of ironic because i'm able to get my hands on these chic is not getting the pine green ones the pine green it seems to be a little bit more limited than the purple ones so i think people might have got that story a little bit mixed up i feel like the green ones are going to be a little bit more limited but I'm interested to know how these sneakers are gonna do. They're definitely gonna sell out very quickly. So make sure you guys enter all the raffles that you can. Try to hit on the Nike sneakers app and all that good stuff. And then after they sell out, let's go back to StockX and let's see if the uh, the price shoots up or if it drops down now that everybody has their sneakers. So uh, that's basically it. That's gonna wrap things up. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell, turn on those notifications so you guys can get an email alert every single time we upload brand new sneaker content. I appreciate all the love, man. But until next time, I'm signing out. You already know what it is. Peace.